Hi, welcome to this very quick video uh, which is going to highlight a problem with the Technicolor Color Assist plugin in Premiere Pro uh, in terms of managing your media files and media file locations. So I'll get straight into this. Um, okay, so I've set up a very simple project here, um, CA Test Premiere Pro, uh, and in there I have one single media file and the Color Assist sidecar file, the .xcsl file which I've already set up. So let's go into Premiere Pro and have a just very quick look at the project. Okay, so I've got a single single file in my sequence and over here you can see the Cine Style Color Assist uh, plugin which I actually think is fantastic. So it's a bit of a shame about this problem but here we go. So in there you can see uh, a number of grades. We've got a, a blue, a green and the brown which is what the, uh, the file uh, loaded up with. Um, and typically in a project life cycle you might want to back up this project so you use the uh, project manager in Premiere Pro and choose a location for it so we'll choose uh, here and call, create a new file called uh, backed up backed up oops click OK or create and choose and OK and yes to that um, Premiere Pro will in the background go and save that project. So let's close this now. Close project. Go back to Finder, and here, here's our backed up area. Uh, backed up, copied, CA test, and now we have our media all flattened into a single file folder. But notice that the uh, uh, color information file, the .xcsl, has not been moved to this location. So that's something uh, that's obviously not tracked by Premiere Pro uh, and you'd have to copy in there manually. But let's just not copy it for the time being because uh, I think we should just load up this program, load up this uh, project, sorry, and we should expect the color styles not to be there. However, it loads up as before with the selected grade. So even though if we go to our media browser, uh, sorry, our project browser and look at the a volume for our media that is definitely in the backed up location. Oops, uh, backed up copy TA test blah blah blah. Um, but it still appears to be referring to the previous um, color information file. I can show you this another another way as well. Um, so you might not be aware that that's happening. So if you'd basically backed up your project grabbed all these files, moved them onto another machine, you'll find that it won't be able to refer back to the colour information. To look at this in a slightly different way, if we go back to our original project, and let's just rename the media uh, directory to footage new, and load up the original project here, um, I'd expect Premiere Pro now to, as it has done, to say, OK, well, you've, I can't find your movie file, where is it? So we go to footage new, relink to the file, uh, and notice that this has got the sidecar file next to it. So all we've done is renamed the media top level directory. But now our uh, color information appears to be lost. We've still got the color plugin here, uh, but we've seemed to have lost our grade. So uh, let's go to send this to color assist and see if that does anything. So we go to color assist and that's brought up a black frame. So it says MVI movie three. Uh, so it thinks it's got three three grades. I think that's what the number three means. But nothing's actually there. So let's just load up a grade in in into here. Click save, and this is now giving us the evidence as to you know why that's come up black. Is that somewhere um, it's still trying to refer to the original folder of footage, and I'm guessing uh, that that's actually within the plugin. So um, let's go back to to Premiere. Um, and what I have found on on here, let's just type in color assist to filter the plugins, just getting this prepared, is what I can do, um, as that didn't kind of work, is delete the plugin and add it back in again. And what we'll find is that because that, that's kind of a clean installation, um, it's picked up the sidecar file, which was next to in the footage new file here. But to do that for an entire project is going to be quite tiresome to go through every single clip, deleting the existing uh, plugin and adding it back in. The second problem is if you remember when we loaded this project, we had the brown grade as being the one selected. 
when you reapply the color assist it's now picked the first grade in there not not this one so that does mean that for your entire project you're probably going to have to go around resetting all the grades uh, if you can remember what they all are so this is quite um quite a bit of an issue uh, for for me let's just close this project um now one kind of workaround that you can get let's just rename this back to uh, footage is this being a, a Mac system uh, disk utility is is quite useful here what I can do is create a new uh, disk image from a folder okay so we'll go into our footage uh, click image here create a read write uh, for, um, image and call it footage click save and disk utility will go and create this footage.dmg so when that's created I can I'm free then to get rid of my existing uh, footage folder uh, just waiting for that to, to finish you uh, can't actually see this happening off, off my screen um, there we go that's finished so let's just delete that so don't, don't need that and all of our media is now contained in here now I suggest if you're going to go down this route that you do this right at the very beginning of your project otherwise you will be back into the whole kind of relinking um, the cine style grades again so let's just open this up and in devices here you can see that we've now got a footage um, device mounted uh, and that will, whenever you mount that that will be mounted in exactly the same place so if I was going to move this project to another machine I can I can basically just copy this one media file this was like this one file which contains all my media uh, and all those files as a single kind of unit so let's load up the the project now obviously this isn't this is now going to prompt me for my media as it did before um, devices and footage and there we go uh, like I say normally you would do this at the beginning of the project so I'm just going to have to go through that procedure that I just went through to reset my grading uh, color assist there we go number three and this time I shall save save it as um, CA test 2 and now if I move this project to another machine uh, and also copy the footage.dmg file then when I open that and open the project all the media will be linked correctly. I have raised this as an issue with Technicolor and hopefully I will hear back from them shortly. Thanks very much for watching.